Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. This is going to be essentially a part two to the Bionicle collection video that I made back in February. It's going to be on my uh, all of my canisters and boxes of my Bionicles and uh, this was inspired by a comment somebody made who was asking uh, if I would do sort of an overview video of my canisters and boxes and at first I thought there wasn't much point because really who is interested in canisters and boxes and I thought over it again and I thought well maybe there is some interest because some of the boxes are quite rare and it'll be interesting to know obviously there's quite a different quite a number of different ways you can collect Bionicle sets whether you just go for the sets or whether you go for the sets with instructions or whether you go for the sets the boxes and instructions and have all three or even sort of the hardcore collectors who go for a completely sealed mint condition set. And I'd say I'm sort of in the middle. I go for boxes and instructions mostly, um, as much as I can. There are some sets like the Termari I'm not too bothered about getting the boxes for because if you know anything about the Termari, their, their canisters did not preserve very well. Um, so yeah, basically in this video I'm just going to be going over some of my boxes, or at least most of them, and the canisters, and hopefully show you some of the rarer ones that I have uh, for some of my rarer sets. And actually when I started this video, um, <laughs> I got all of my boxes out and I realised I got a lot more than I thought I did. So uh, this might be a long video, there'll be a lot of dust, because I don't keep these in the same condition I keep my sets in, as you can see behind. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Now, the first few canisters are actually right next to me here. We've got uh, Garlock here. We've got Tarnock here. Tarnock I got a while ago. I think that is the wrong lid, but um, yeah, Tarnock. Uh, Garlock has the back sticker. Tarnock does not. Uh, we've got Parak here. Uh, let's see. We've got Korak. Nuvok, uh, I've got Korak Cal here, it's the first Borok Cal. I've got this uh, canister here, I imagine this was Levac, but I'm not entirely sure. It's got a sort of uh, a silvery green lid, so I imagine that would be from Levac from 2002, but I'm not 100% sure in that. I've got some Toa Nuva that I'll show off here, I've got Tahu here. Which is pretty cool. Um, I've got Kapaka. I've actually got two uh, Liwa Nuva canisters here. So that's pretty cool. I've got Gali here. We've got Pohatu and Onua. Um, what else do we have here? I'm getting them everywhere. These are just the canisters which didn't fit in some of the massive boxes that I've got, which are filled with them. Here is a Creeker from 2008. We've got Stronius here. Right, Jala Inika. We've got Kongu Inika. Gorast. A bunch of randoms here. Um, Atticus from 2009. Um... So that's all of the boxes I've got next to me here. Now I shall have a reach in to this box here. Okay, so to um, Iruni from 2005, to Haga. I've got uh, Onua Mata here. I've got Kopaka Mata. Um. This is Tahu Mata. I think the uh I think the um the sticker is the other way around. I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, I dunno. I'll sort that another time. Um We've got Gali here. I've got some Turhordika here, we've got Wenua, still with the stickers on. I think I got this one at the charity shop. Got um, Matau. Uh, this is Noric. Pretty cool. We've 
you've got um, the Black Varky, uh, Raw's Ark, there we are. So yeah, this is going to be quite random, but uh, here's another Varky. Got Visorak here, and um, Nokama. I'm going to try and get through the canisters fairly quickly because um, they're actually the least interesting, I think. We've got uh, some... We're getting into the Rakshi now, actually. So that was the black Rakshi. We've got the green Rakshi and the brown Rakshi. I cannot... Well, I can remember, I can read the names right on there, but... Uh, I'm trying to get these done quickly. We've got Gurak and Kurak. Got Vakama here and Vaki Nurak. We've got uh, Turak, uh, Matau, and over here uh, Onua. We've got some bigger canisters here. We've got Vastus from 2009. Akar from 2009. We've got Tarex. Got Gelu. Got uh, Matanui here. Uh, Strack. There's a lot of can canisters here. Let's get a few more out. Got Kina and Malum. We've got uh, Vorox and Scrow. And then I've got five of the Baraki canisters. We've got Kalma, Takadox. Let's see. We've got uh, Mantax, Carapar. We have here. Pridak, and that is actually that box complete. Uh, we've got No Karma, Vordika, some more O5 stuff. Got some more Visorak from O5, and some more Varki as well. I've got Bordak and um, Zadak there. I've got Kirak here, and then some O8, O9 Matoran. And Agori, we've got uh, Tanma here. These fall apart really easily, actually. I'm just trying to figure up. Tardak. Got Ranu. And Berix. Oh, yeah. And uh, Gavlet as well. And then we've got some 08 full Toa figures and Makusa. It's got Pohatu and Vampra there. got Kopaka and uh, Antros. I've got Chirox here and Tanma, sorry not Tanma, Liwa, Liwa uh, Nuva. And we've got some Mystica here, Mystica Toa. We've got Onua, Tahu. We've got Gali here, which is really cool. Uh, and that, I think, is most of the canisters done. So, Titans, as far as they go, I'll go through some of the more common ones. We've got uh, Voltraz here, ridiculously common and not very highly sought after from 2008. Put that just over here. We've got Taragaduma and Nevork from 2004. I actually go through all the O4 Titans here. We've got Nidiki. And yep, you guessed it, Cracker. The same with the uh, O5 Titans, they're not all that common. Rudaka's uh, box is actually in the worst condition of all my O5 Titan boxes. But we do have Sidrak in a bit better condition here. And in fact, 
Kitonga as well. So all the boxes for those sets, which is always nice. Ooh, I've got some O1 Titans up here, I may as well show off quickly. We've got the Nui Jaga. I don't think I actually have the box for the Nui Rama, unfortunately, but uh, there we are. The, new, the O1 uh, Rahi are actually going up quite low in price, so maybe they are a bit more valuable. This is the Manas. Um, Manas, of course, I think everyone knows that they're quite expensive these days. I'm glad that I've got them. Everyone's favourite, the Tarakava. Really cool. And I've got the box in fairly good condition as well. Um, just to clear some space, I'll start going over the vehicle sets from 08 and 09. I've got the Rocco T3 here. Really cool. The Jetrax T6. So that's pretty cool. We've got Mazika in here as well, limited edition. Mazika has actually gone down in price recently, I'm pretty sure. Um, but hopefully, you know, I say hopefully for people who don't have him. The Xalera T9. I don't even know if I can fit that in. There we are. So that's really cool. Uh, we've got Tuma here from 09 and Hydraxon from 07. And then um, I believe the biggest set ever released, which is Scopio XV1. I don't actually have the box for Thornus V9, but I've got the, the big boy Scopio. Really, really cool. Less thick uh, with box instructions. Obviously, he's special edition. He's a little more uncommon now. But I'm glad I've got his box. It's always nice. We've got Takanuva here. Takanuva, not so rare, but uh, he does come with that glittery avaki. So I guess there is some scarcity there. Icarax. Icarax is uh, definitely very uncommon nowadays. Um, really cool set though. He's got the exclusive Krakan as well, I think. The four hole Krakan. Exotoa, we've got here. He's now quite uncommon. Um, mostly because he's just very popular and highly sought after actually, but I'm glad I've got the box for him. A box I picked up recently was Nocturne's box, and I got his instructions recently as well because he is actually my first Bionicle set, so I feel kind of nostalgic towards him. Um, really like Nocturne. It's a great set. Probably one of the rarest boxes I own is Karzani's box, and it's, in, it's quite squashed. It's not in great condition, but it's still a box. Um, Karzani, of course, is rocketing up in price at the moment because of the uh, exclusive masks and the fact that he's obviously special edition. But I really like that set. Really like. Glad that I've got the um, the box for him. Uh, got Cardock and Gardock here. Haven't seen this set on eBay for quite a while. Um, Moaka and Kanera. We've got. Another 09 vehicle set, Caxid V3. Volparac. His box is kind of squashed and it's sellotaped or duct taped in areas. But he's he'll fetch quite a price now. Ultimate Duma. And you got the sticker up there of the exclusive Krakan. That's really cool. Combiner from 04. Brutaker's box in here which is really cool uh, and then we've got of course Visa and Cardas this is a very uncommon box I'm glad I've got it the boxer no two second of all this like comic pack thing which I got at some point that's kinda cool and inside I've got a sealed Draga for karma, 
which is really really cool poly bag and of course the box that I got just got these sets out of was Termata Nui very uncommon set these days for the last portion of the video I just wanted to go over some of the smaller sets and some of the miscellaneous stuff that I've got we've got the uh, Kohli Matoran here the O3 Matoran actually so Maku I've got all the boxes for them which is always nice although they are only small boxes we've got Harley there we've got Huki they're all pretty much the same on the back I think Matoro and Hafu again they're only quite uh, small and relatively un uninteresting but uh, there they are um, I've also got all the Turaga from 2001 so you've got Wenua and again all of these sets are exactly the same on the back I'm fairly sure and I've got all six of these sets as well which is always nice to have and I mean the Turaga obviously were released in 2001 they're about as much well they go for as much as actual full size sets nowadays so it's probably worth picking them up so here's Garlock um, there's the back actually there's a little rip on the top but the, some of the art of these sets is quite cool we've also got Nuvok and my Nuvok came I didn't get him uh, sealed I don't think but he came with the uh, he came from Europe, as you can see. Uh, he's still got that sticker on top. Uh, there's the back. We've got Tarnock. It's in a bit rougher condition, actually, this box, unfortunately. But there we are. We've got Levac. We've got Korak. And uh, Parak. And then for the final boxes of um, a set of six Matoran. I've got the Metro Nui Matoran from 04 which are always quite cool looks like uh, Orkham's still got the sticker on there I've got Okmu um, Tahuti and Nuri, the A4 Matoran. I thought the box art for these sets were was really cool as well. Now that's all of the set of six Matoran that I have. I also have a couple of the boxes for the O7 Matoran uh, sets, the small sets from O7 which were bigger. Obviously only four were released in that year. I don't have the boxes for Dekar or Morak. Um, but I do have Deflac and Thulox, and that's mostly because Deflac and Thulox were the ones I got relatively recently. I say relatively, I still got them s coming on a few years ago now, but uh, relative to 2007, I got them uh, relatively recently. Now, I've also got some boxes of Squid Ammo, obviously opened, but uh, that was the supposed collectible of 2007 we have some of the Rotuka spinner boxes here's one I've got several of them but I'll just show one for now um, that's upside down um, and yeah there we are oh yeah the other thing was I wanted to show some of the tubs that I've got and now the tubs, the Bionicle tubs which were released over the years some of them are quite rare and I think uh, this one is actually quite rare this was a uh, UK exclusive 500 piece set ultimate accessory set 500 I think it was released only in the UK but I've got it and I have all the pieces which came in it obviously it's empty now but uh, that's a really cool set and it came with the six uh, shadow crater and a white rotuka spinner so some good stuff in there shame it wasn't released outside the uk 
And then the other thing I've got recently, which I actually want to make a video on, is this. I'll probably make a video on both of these tubs, is this one. And I'm not sure if this was a UK exclusive either, but it's another limited edition of 500 piece set. And there isn't a lot of information on these uh, these tubs, unfortunately. But um, I've got both both of these with all their pieces in them. So thanks for watching, and I hope I hope you enjoyed this sort of part two uh, to my main collection video. Thanks for watching.